Just for memories, that's where the beach bag is. It's not, it's not good now, it's on the bed, isn't it? <laughs> just to document, it wasn't me who lost it, but we've just been looking high and low for that beach bag. Um, it's, uh, what day is today? Tuesday. At 12 o'clock now, midday. I'm just going to set the uh, GoPro up because we're off to Cavalier today to uh, Bonporto Beach. Um, really nice today actually. A lot of cloud coming over, a lot of sign for storms. I know I'm getting in the wrong side, I'm just putting the GoPro on this side. Um, yeah, so we're going to head off there. Gatekeepers out. Camping de la Bay, this is a place for those of you that are left here when I was last left here when I was 20 years old. Got a lot of memories here. We came here for probably the best part of 10 years on the run, year after year. So I sort of grew up with it through adolescence and then into a teen and then an early 20. So I'm about Jack's age, I was a bit younger than him when I left here last. Um, so it holds a lot of memories, it's changed a lot. So the idea was we'd just park here. I'm just going to find out now to see how much it is. It's worth setting down here. And then we're going to have a look around the old campsite, which has changed no end. <laughs> we're talking <laughs> over 30 years. Um, and then we're going to go to the beach, Bonporto Beach, which is further out at Cavalier. So let's go have a look. Are you all paid? First two hours free then. Parking, apparently. It's not bad. So yeah, this is all changed. So when I was last here, when I was alive, this was uh, nothing built down here at all. This was, there was a few buildings here, but this street was just empty. And this looks very different to how it used to be, but you probably recognise the photos with the Camping de la Bay on the front with the restaurant. I'll show you. So that's how it was. Ah. Multitasking now, taking pictures as well. Okay, the scene as I left the camera, uh, we got to change the uh, memory card over in the camera. We're on the phone. <laughs> this is the careers tent. <laughs> That's the careers tent. Oh, the car's got little. Oh, the noise at this. Oh, here. Yeah. We used to walk up here. Yeah, I think we had a tent up here. See, what happens is you have these and then your tents will be set up, but there would only be probably about five tents up here. You know, the big tents. The, you know, like the stand-up tents, not the... I think we had one up here. 
tents, eh? Do they not have any tents anymore? No, it does not like it. And I remember Nicola when you were watching, you came back up here once. I don't know whether it was this one and you tripped over a wall and did you shin in really bad. Yeah, this is this is familiar because it always used to be this long steep walk up to our tent. What is that? Compared to Wales. Compared to Wales. Still quite peaceful though. There they are, a lot of them are empty. We'll walk down this way if you want. Yeah, I don't know, it seems like there's... Oh yeah, there's a wall up there which I don't remember. See what happens is you bring you bring your bowl, you're washing up bowl full of pots, and you bring them down here. Yeah. That's my Nicola's job. I'll be on washing, she'll be on drying, we take it in turns. Obviously they've been upgraded quite a lot since. But it was quite a communal area. where the couriers used to be their tent. This little bit just here. That's <laughs> where they used to live. It was a laugh. Hey, didn't you have a pool? Yeah, it's got one now. I'll have a quick look, see what the pool looks like. Here, though. Yeah, we didn't uh, stretch this, we didn't camp anywhere along that side. That was the not so good side, I think. No. Wasn't so uh, much canvas that side, there's other people. Yeah, so camping de la Bay, so we just a uh, quick walk through Cavalier itself, a quick look around there. May road into Cavalier. Agents. Similar sort of price to Quavo, yeah. That's About the keys, the key side of all the boats. We used to come down here a lot. Some lovely boats over there, but you can't get to them though. Do you want to look and see the boats? Huh? Do you want to look and see the boats across there? Yeah, yeah, it's vaguely where we're ambling towards, but yeah, to go that way. We often used to kick around here at night as teenagers. We were normally over the other side, they didn't have boats anywhere near as nice as this then, but. Lovely spectacle. Something about being on the water, I love it. Boats.
Right, I thought I got away without carrying a bag. So now we're at Bomporto Beach. Which is again a beach I've not been to for a very, very long time. So just trip down memory lane this. So this is a nice, this Bomporto Beach sort of goes down into a bay. Um, nice little walk along down to the beach. Jill and Jack have just gone down to the beach for a swim. Well, Jack will be going for a swim. I'll be going in in a minute because I think Shell's coming back. swim that was about oh, a couple of hours later it is now about a couple of hours later um, just leaving the beach on Porto it's about after five now um, I'm just saying the last time I did this I look back it was like <laughs> 35 years ago or whatever it's quite funny really isn't it so we're just gonna head back up and have a look at a few sights on the way back need to put my shoes on this bit I don't miss, the long climb back. <laughs> Actually it's not as bad as I thought. Still really nice here though. The beach is still really nice. I can't believe how unbusy it was, if that's a word. I always remember this road on the way back from Bon Porto and I had to drive it because the views are spectacular. I don't know whether that's uh, Pockerel, I'm not sure, for Pockerel Islands, I'm not entirely sure. Or it might be that one, I don't really know. got now. This looks very exciting. <laughs> done well. Done well. Ooh. Done well. Yeah. Very well. How did you ask for this one then? Le glass. S'il vous plaît. It looks very scrummy. Mm. Good. With the old brownie. This is the other glass then. That's yours. I'm just going to have some coffee. Yeah, well, that's my finish. Cheers. <laughs> Retiring to the drawing room in a minute. I've just made some coffee. Mm -hmm. Coffee's going. Not all going, but ready? Gone. Yeah, it's quite a view, isn't it? Mm -hmm. Turns out it's Cavalier, that's where we were to obviously where we were today, but that's the pool where we were sat. Mm. All the boats are. On. We actually had a look through the camera earlier. So yeah, that is the quayside that you can look straight there. So where Saint Tropez is, I don't know in relation to this. But it ain't there. 
some cleaning up too. I'm just going to make the coffee since I found these. So I have the old coffees in that because they're like. I've got too much coffee at the bottom, it's going to just jam. I think we're alright. Yes, yeah, so normally I have coffee out of these in the mornings. So, uh, this is like the uh, almost the espresso version. French style one. Oh, okay. <laughs> we didn't have a lot of small ones, oh, so I thought we'll go French. Shall I sit over here? Shall I sit here? Not try your little espresso on Facebook. Yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah, that is good, yeah? Mm. Pretty nice, yeah. Very random. Do you want to drink You need some music now, like 1920s music or something. <laughs> Come out for a spot of an evening walk before we have a couple of beers by the pool. Sounds a good idea. <laughs> yes, this could be what we're looking for. As exciting as it is on tonight's walk round, we found the trash. <laughs> Metal carton plastic paper. About glass. It's our responsibility to run the whole place like a home. We don't know where to offload the trash. This could be it. Recycling, yes, some recycling spots there. Look. Yeah, I'm going to say it's a very um. It's an educational vlog. This bit, it's educational. It's to do with recycling and refuse. It's all about the environment. This is actually the bottom end of our villa, this hedge here. There's another property that sort of sides up to this hedge and then a little bit, then there's the bottom end of our pool. So it's like a street that circumnavigates it. Because so I was trying to go down here on Google Maps when I was, before we came, trying to look where it was. It's tucked away, aren't they? Residential flats sort of thing. Mm -hmm. Hanging out in here, are you? In the drawing room to go by the pool. It's just looking easy. Yeah, it's very good. It is, I've lit the pool up. <laughs> I have. Yeah, I switched all the lights oh, the on. Cavalier in the distance. What Cavalier? Cavalier? Not Cavalier. Cavalier, Cavalier where we were today, <laughs> literally. That's surreal, really, isn't it? No, it's not cold. I've got a camera in one hand and the beer in another. It's quite good, isn't it, like, all suddenly? It is. Total darkness now. No one can see absolutely anything. 
In actual fact, the pool, pool's lit up, but you can't really see a lot anyway. I need to get that. I need to get that light working in the pool itself. I can't. I can't put my phone on you. So, not much point in filming, really, is there? Yeah, you can see a bit now, look. Normality's restored. Yeah, I need to get that pull light working at the end. There's a bulb in it. Oh, Jack's made it down. He was going to bed, but now I just can't resist. What have you got? Some orangina. <laughs>